Hi, my name is Christiana and I'm from Latvia and today I will teach you how to create your own video. So let's start. This video editor is super cool because it's super simple and everything is already written. I will explain every step that I'm doing so it's easier for you to understand because it may be confusing at the first. What we do first, I will show you how to create a video from the free stock videos. There are some web pages on the internet where you can take uh, free videos and use them for your needs. So we go to pixels.com. Here you see that you can type any type of uh, keywords. Let's write, for example, wine yard. So here you press that you want to see videos, not photos. And here are many, many, many videos that you can download and use. Yeah, also here you can see that you can download it with this button and it will be more quick rather than to open it and download then. So basically what we want to do, if it's possible, we want to find videos that are approximately the same quality best if you can find those who look similarly like the colors are similar the the quality is similar because if the quality is different and the colors are changing drastically it will look quite cheap and that's not what we want so we try to look for the best options okay so we have some wine videos and now we go for let's say georgia want to put some nature in the video as well so i will download three videos and what's nice about this web page is that here usually real photographers post their own uh, stock footage uh, they allow you to use it without any any rules so we have some videos now i will put them in one folder let's create a folder uh, sometimes one artist puts like many videos like they can be similar they can be different but the best is to choose from one artist because uh, they have the same camera so they have the same quality same colors and same style so basically what we do now is we go to the search engine which is down here if you don't have it there then open the windows uh, button on the left of the bottom of your screen there you should see the search option and you just type uh, video editor so it should pop application of video editor and you just press and open it so most of the windows systems have already this video editor it's just a lot of people don't know about it but uh, it's super simple yet it has uh, those basic features that uh, you need to edit a simple video so we open the video editor and we click new video project as you can see you have this uh, window pop popping up uh, that says that name your video so let's call it georgia so now we have already downloaded the videos that we will use to learn how to use video editor and now wherever you have downloaded them i have them at the folder downloads uh, maybe you have them somewhere else maybe you made a special fo folder for it but what you do is you press this add button and uh, press from this pc I have all these videos here, so I'm just gonna put them all and press open. So basically, what we see here on the interface is uh, the project library. Here are all your videos that you have put, uh, whether you downloaded them from Freestock, uh, Freestock web pages, or they're your own videos filmed by phone or whatever. So here's the storyboard. Here you will be creating your video sequence. You will be putting one after another video and creating your story. Here we can see a black screen because there you will be able to see the videos, the video that you have already edited. If we click on the video, 
you have other options we we can trim it we can split it we can add text on the video as well uh, we can change the motion of the video if the video slowly goes like down or slowly goes up or one side or another we can add some 3d effects as well but i wouldn't suggest to do that because that usually may confuse our potential uh, client or customer and it just doesn't look good we also have filters and change of speed so what we do now is we press with the left mouse click and drag it here so as you can see it already popped into this window and if we press here play then the video starts going and here you will be able to see the video that you have created uh, in the storyboard so if you put many videos in storyboard here you will be able to see them all in sequence and let's drag this video after that one so what we do is the same thing we just uh, click with the left click of the mouse and drag the video down here and just leave it there as you can see here this video both of them have sound if you want to mute the sound or to make it uh, more quiet or more loud then you can press here and here you can adjust the volume I will put mute on both of the videos because uh, I will put a background music afterwards but you can do as you like if you don't want the background music uh, you just put the volume louder now as you can see here is the time of the video in seconds so this video is 14 seconds I'm not sure that I want it that long so here is the button called trim which means that we can cut the parts that we don't need let's say let's play it again and see which part we like the most okay since the video is all the same it's just like leaves are Swinging by the wind, I will put this video to 5 seconds. Yeah, by dragging these buttons, you just leave here what part of the video you need. You just move like this, and if it's gonna be 10 seconds or 4 seconds, I'll just leave it to 5 something. And press done. Now, what you can do here is you can put the video exactly where you want it to put if you want to put it between the grapes you can just drag it here and leave as you can see those videos are moving from left to right if you move uh, the video that you have already tapped on so that's a good feature that it's very flexible as you can see again this video is 13 seconds and i don't want it that long so i'll just press trim and let's say it's gonna start from the 10th second and it's gonna be six seconds long so let's see what we have here we can see only the small part of it so now we have actually quite a long video it's already to, in total 35 seconds and I don't want it much longer because the best is to create video uh, under one minute why so? because uh, it's actually hard to get uh, longer attention from our potential customers on social media because uh, people are scrolling down their Facebook feeds, Instagram feeds or whatever social media that they're using and uh, it's very hard to catch the attention and to keep the attention the attention grabbers are first three seconds basically so we want our video in the first three seconds tell briefly what we are selling let's say, let's say so so that's why uh, I will add a title card like at the beginning of the video so I just press this button add the title card and I drag it to the front and now I can choose the color of it and I'll put a text on it so what you want here to do 
is you put a short text what gives the message to the audience what you are trying to let's say sell for example my video is gonna be about grapes and Georgia so I want to write something that brings attention so let's say I will write come and visit Georgia and let's choose a beautiful font for it because we want our video to look beautiful here you can see the layout of where the text is going to be located whether it's at the center of the video at the bottom at the top or on the left or right side and as you can see for the title card here you can you have the options to change the background change the text change the duration now it's three seconds you can actually put it like 10 seconds or more or less as you wish so now i will be adding filters to the videos i just click on the video where i want to add the filter and the filter basically means that it changes the color tones uh, whether it makes it more bright or less bright or more, I don't know, foggy or black and white or some specific colors popped out. We just change the mood of the video by changing the filters. And they are there are already like ready filters which you can press and it will completely change the mood of the video so let's say we want the video to look very like sunny and lovely and give us warm feelings so i'll just put the filter and see how it looks this looks perfect and i will apply the same filter to all videos because i want the whole video give like the same feeling to the be to the person who's watching it so i want it to be all of it in like the same colors the same tones and that's a good thing with filters if you have like videos filmed for example by your phone and you filmed it and some of uh, the footage is filmed in the morning some in the evening and so the colors on the video are different but with filter it does that magic that it just creates the same mood on the whole video so what's good with this filter is that it pops out the green color since we have edited the video one by one let's see what we already have and just click on the first video and press play part of video is eight seconds it feels like it's too long so it would be best to cut it less because the best uh, time for each shot is three to five seconds because it's enough time for a person who's watching it to understand what's going on there and it doesn't make the whole video look long so it's best to keep like this uh, three to five three to six second long videos and what's interesting is that flag of Georgia flies for two hours and we don't want that so we just gonna put it for six seconds and now uh, since we want our video to bring some more attention we will put uh, a background music to it and uh, this video editor has this nice feature that it already has some music some songs that you can use so let's press here the background music also which is super cool you can sync your video to the music beat so it looks more dynamic more rhythmic and uh, more lively so let's do this and let's see how it looks Perfect. I loved it. It's so cute. <laughs> so basically, yeah, that was it from me. I hope uh, this was helpful and I hope you'll be able now to use the video editor. 
uh, feel free to click all the buttons and experiment with your videos uh, try to go outside tomorrow film something and try to edit it uh, and create a short movie uh, with footage that you filmed on your phone and I hope this was helpful thanks for watching and I hope to see you around thank you